Hello, and welcome to the C-Series Telehandlers from Caterpillar. My name's Roy Vinden, and I'm going to take you on a walk around to introduce you to this new machine. When developing the new C-Series Telehandler, Caterpillar set design specifications based on data gathered from talking to customers, talking to dealers, and this resulting in a design that's intuitive, easy to operate, whilst maintaining durability and reliability that Caterpillar machines are well known for the world over. Customers also wanted a machine that was going to improve productivity, fuel efficiency and performance, as well as meeting job site regulatory and safety requirements. We're introducing the C-Series range in two phases. First to be produced will be the two-section boom machines with high horsepower. There are four models in this range, two six-metre lift machines, two seven-metre lift machines, with lifting capacities going from 3,300 kilograms to 3,700 kilograms. All are powered by the innovative CAT 4.4 litre ACERT engine, known for its fuel efficiency and increased power density, whilst meeting the tier four interim and stage three B emission requirements. The new engines are equipped with a passive regeneration system, which requires no intervention from the operator. Although, if it's going to happen at an inconvenient time, he can override the system and make it happen at a more convenient time. In the high horsepower range, we'll offer two engine sizes, 124 horsepower and 142 horsepower. The second phase of C-Series launch will be later this year and will be all models of Telehandler taking the standard engines. This new engine will be a 3.4 litre, 100 horsepower turbocharged with passive regeneration, again meeting tier four interim and stage three B emission requirements. On the two section boom machines, the boom head has a Z bar linkage fitted in here. This increases the angle of rotation of the work tools, the bucket in particular, increases the speed of the dump, increases the rollback and increases the breakout forces. On the boom head, we fit a brush all the way around. This stops debris falling down inside the boom and causing maintenance problems. On top of the boom, in the stress areas, we double thickness the plates. Looking at the front axle, inboard oil immersed disc brakes, the front axle is also fitted with a limited slip differential. This aids traction in uh, wet and muddy conditions. Walking around to the left-hand side of the machine, I'd like to show you the new bonnet cover on the C-Series machine. You'll notice that the shape is scalloped down here. This offers very good visibility for the operator to look down here to see his front wheel and down the back here to see the rear wheel. When you lift the engine cover, the operator immediately is presented with a well laid out uh, system. He can do all his daily checks from ground level. So engine oil dipstick, transmission oil dipstick. He can check the water in the fuel trap and, and release it if there, there is any. So all his daily service checks are done from ground level. There's no climbing on top of the machine to do that. And as you can see, well laid out, very easy to get to. In addition to new engines, the new C-Series telehandlers are also fitted with new power shift transmission. This power shift transmission has six forward, three reverse gears, all controlled by the operator from his joystick in the cab. Here I'd like to point out the new torque regulated hydraulic pump. This is a load sensing variable displacement piston pump. The torque regulated pump means that even at low engine speed, the operator would experience no engine lug down when he's operating the hydraulics. This means the machine will be far more productive because of this engine speed is maintained, hydraulic speed is good. This pump gives the machine the ability to have maximum lifting capacity at low engine speed, making the machine very, very productive. Of course, telehandlers work in very arduous conditions, so cooling can be an issue. We've designed a very efficient cooling package on this machine. The cooling package is stacked for maximum efficiency. Starting at the top, we have air-to-air -air after cooler, then engine coolant, then hydraulic coolant. At the bottom, we have the transmission cooling, and finally, we have fuel cooling. Air is drawn through a fine grill at the top of the hood and at the side, down through the cooling. And of course, we have the option of a reversing fan on the 100 horsepower machine, on the high horsepower machine, 
It is an on-demand hydraulic fan, which again can reverse. The radiators themselves are a square wave core. This means that any material finding its way to it will go all the way through and not block it. This also aids with the reversing fan, able to blast any material out again. This is the 100 horsepower variant, which will be available later this year. With this variant, this is the DPF filter mounted on top of the engine here. On the high horsepower machines, this DPF filter will relocate underneath here. Looking at the rear of the machine, you'll see that uh, this machine is fitted with a, uh, a rear tow hitch. In agricultural applications, the towing requirements vary country by country. So we offer a wide range of options on the towing hitches. This particular one is a clevis, automatic clevis hitch. You will notice down here is a piton for the French market and we also offer a fully hydraulic lift-up hitch. At this point, we have the trailer braking valve and we have the two outlets for tipping trailers. Walking around here, the rear axle also steers, of course, on telehandlers. Both axles are steering. That gives us three steering modes. For the most part, operators will stay in four-wheel steer where the rear axle is steering the opposite way to the front axle, but for road work, we will switch the rear axle off and just steer with the front axle. But if the operator wants to get into an awkward corner, he can go into crab steer where both axles turn in the same way. This is done automatically from the cab. There's sensors on the axle, so the operator switches his switch and at any position, as soon as the wheels come to straight ahead, the system switches over automatically. Here's the hydraulic tank with the sight gauge for the operator to see the level. He can check that on a daily basis. Here's the fuel tank, very conveniently placed filler. The fuel tank holds 150 litres, which is more than enough for a full day's work. Moving to the top of the cab, you'll see that we've moved the air conditioning condenser up here. This is to get it up into clean air to make it work more efficiently. Looking at the side of the cab, you'll see that it's well glazed, a lot of uh, glass area for good visibility. The door opens and I can also fold the top part of the door back for increased ventilation. Stepping inside the cab, you'll see that it's a nice low step, three points of entry for safe entry and a nice comfortable seat to sit in. I'm just going to adjust the steering wheel up slightly so you can see the joystick. On the C-Series machine, we have a new joystick. Forward, neutral and reverse are now on the joystick, as are the gear changes with the new six-speed power shift transmission. So the operator changes up or changes down with these yellow buttons. So there you have it, the new C-Series telehandlers from Caterpillar. Now I'm really looking forward to getting out in the field and meeting the customers that take these first machines and sharing with their experiences.